Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for February 20 through to February 25th. Two significant coronal hole formations rotating through the earth-facing position in the coming days represent a potential of one or two 6.8 magnitude earthquakes during this watch. We're now looking at an animated view of the coronal hole formations on the solar corona using the solar terrestrial activity report where we see two significant regions of note. CH501, which is a trans-equatorial coronal hole, should have an influence on the Earth from February 20 to February 22nd, and also a southern hemisphere coronal hole formation, CH502, which is newly numbered, should have its influences towards the end of this watch, February 24 and February 25. We're now looking at the latest solar wind telemetry from ACE, where we see that over the last six hours, a major move in solar wind density has been observed, reaching 30 protons per cubic centimetre for a long duration, and at the end of this time frame, we see a major rise in solar wind temperature and solar wind speed. And they have spiked quite rapidly, and we are seeing impact on the Earth's magnetic field. And this is due to the coronal hole formation, CH501, and this high-speed solar wind stream affecting the Earth. And that would imply that the earthquake information coming from this coronal hole formation is now being received. And we're not too far away from receiving a significant earthquake in the northern hemisphere to the equator region. We're now looking at a split screen of the stereo behind and cactus of a powerful coronal mass ejection released from the solar corona back on February 16. Using the cactus information, we see that a full halo spread is headed Earth's way, but upon close inspection with the stereo behind, we see that this is a far side eruption or occurring behind the sun in relation to the Earth. We're now looking at this coronal hole formation, CH501, with the 193 angstrom and solar monitor, and we see 24 hour spreads here where a significant decrease in size of this coronal hole has been observed, with the main concentrations being at around 10 to 7 degrees north latitude, which will be the main area of focus for this watch. I'm now going to plot a map of region I feel will be most at risk for this significant earthquake based on solar symmetry as best mapped to the Earth. And my number one area of concern is for the Nicobar Islands India region and the regions of northern Sumatra, Indonesia. And my second area of concern is for the Mora Gulf, Mindanao region, Philippines, stretching down towards the Malacca Sea region, Indonesia. And my third and final area of concern are for the regions of Costa Rica, Panama border regions, Panama, and adjacent to the region of Colombia. These will be the third and final areas of concern based on solar symmetry as best mapped to the Earth for a possible 6.5 to 6.8 magnitude earthquake for the dates of February 20 to February 22. We're now looking at the WSA solar wind prediction animation. This is showing a high speed solar wind stream coming from coronal hole formation in the southern hemisphere, CH502, should affect the Earth on February 22nd through to February 25, and we may see significant earthquake potential based on this coronal hole formation. We're now looking at coronal hole formation CH502, which is in the southern hemisphere, and we do see it located at 22 to 26 degrees south latitude on the 16th of February. On the 17th of February, we see a rapid increase in size of this coronal hole, and this continued on February 18. So this will imply that a significant earthquake potential towards the end of this watch is likely, possibly around 6.8 magnitude. I'm now going to plot and map this coronal hole formation CH502 to the Earth, with the number one area with solar symmetry being the South Pacific Islands, more specifically the regions of Loyalty Islands, adjacent south of Fiji and south of Tongan regions, or the region of the Kermanic Islands, these will be the number one areas of concern, as they do have some strong solar symmetry, which may indicate a possible 6.8 magnitude earthquake for the dates of February 24 or February 25. We're now looking at the global real-time ionospheric map, where we see that over the last 48 hours, some significant readings of 15 and 16 megahertz have been recorded, with the main concentration centered over Antofagasta in Chile. Hawaii has had a strong concentration. The Kermanic Islands, Fiji, and also Tonga, and also southwest of Indonesia near Krakatau, stretching in towards the Indian Ocean, have had strong readings, and also the top portions of India into the Ryukyu Islands. We're now looking at the Australian Pulsation PC3 Index, where a significant reading over the last 24 hours has been recorded, which registered a 10. This is a good indicator of a possible 6.5 greater magnitude earthquake for the Southern Hemisphere over the next day or two, so this is definitely worth keeping a close note of. And that's my volcano and earthquake watch for February 19, 2012. For more information, please visit my website at solarwatcher.net where I'll be adding more content for subscribers and members and also on my blog. Annotations will be added during and at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.